Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to share with you how I went from this dark, kind of vibrant red to this light blonde that you see today. Now, before we actually get into the tutorial part of everything, I do need to share some disclaimers with you and please do not skip through this part. This information is so crucial to know before you begin this whole journey. So number one, I have to mention, I am not a professional. I do not have a cosmetology license. Any professionals that are watching this video, if at any point there's anything that you feel like I did totally wrong and you want to correct me, please feel free to do so. I'm not claiming that, you know, everything I do is completely correct or whatever. The next thing that I want to mention is that this is not necessarily a complete universal hair tutorial. I mean, like most hair coloring tutorials, the results that I got and the steps that I took to get here might be a little bit different for you. There's so many different factors that contribute to that. So keep that in mind. You might need to tweak things a little bit here and there. So as I'm going through the tutorial, I'm going to break it down into different steps. So you might see by the end of step one, your hair looks a little bit different than mine did. So you might need to either repeat some steps or completely skip over some steps. Disclaimer number three. Your hair is probably going to be damaged by the end of this process, especially if your hair is currently pretty damaged right now. So you want to really be careful during this whole process, use a lot of deep conditioners, and really invest in good products. And then of course the last disclaimer is to just do your own research, especially if you're not that experienced with coloring your own hair. If you are going to leave me a comment asking me like what is developer and how does it work and basic things like that. I'm not going to respond. Do your research, Google what you need to know, don't just use this video alone as your one source for everything. So I kind of had like an ombre going on. I just used a Manic Panic semi-permanent vegetable dye and that's how I got the red that I had. So I had a semi-permanent color in my hair and the ends of my hair were pre-lightened. The rest of my hair was not. So that's kind of what I had going on for me. So step one was trying to remove and fade out the red as much as I possibly could. So the very first night that I decided that I wanted to start this whole process, I washed my hair in really hot water with just like a really cheap shampoo. Obviously you have red hair, you know the things that you're not supposed to do with it. So do those things. Wash it in hot water, use cheap shampoos, clarifying shampoo, dandruff shampoo, dish soap, anything that's going to really strip out that red as much as you possibly can. Now if you can, I would suggest doing that over like a week long period and doing it multiple times. I was a little bit impatient, so I just did it the one time, but the more you do that, the more you'll be able to get that red buildup out, and the easier everything else will be from that point on. Then the following morning, I decided to use a color remover. So the color remover that I used was Color Oops. You can just get that at any drugstore or like Walmart, Target. That color remover is really good because it works for semi-permanent, demi-permanent, and permanent hair color. So it doesn't even really matter what kind of red color color you have in your hair. So I don't have any footage of me applying the color oops the very first time, but this is what my hair looked like before using it, and then this is what my hair looked like afterwards. So it definitely did make a difference. I mean, my hair went from being more vibrant and more of a true red to a more faded kind of orangey red. So later that night I decided to use color oops for a second time. So after I wash out my second color oops, my hair was starting to feel pretty dry. Color Oops claims that it's not supposed to damage your hair, but it definitely leaves it feeling really, really dry. Always make sure that in between all of these steps, you are deep conditioning and at least leaving your hair to sit in a good conditioning mask for at least a few hours, if not like a full day. Okay, so for step two, I decided that I obviously needed to still take that red out. I also wanted to lift my base color a little bit. When I was doing my research, I read so many different things and saw so many videos of people saying that if you have an artificial color like red or blue or green or whatever, putting bleach on that hair will just drive the color deeper into your hair and make it like nearly impossible to remove. So I was a little bit afraid to do that. I decided instead to use a high lift color. I read a bunch of different things that said that high lift color is actually one of the most effective ways of removing bright artificial colors. So the high lift color that I used was by the brand Ion and it was the high lift 
cool blonde. With the high lift color, you can mix that with whatever volume developer you want. I used a 30 volume. So with high lift color, you always mix a one to two ratio. So one part color, two parts developer. So I mix that up and I apply that only to the red parts towards the end of my hair. I didn't want to apply it right onto my roots right away because I didn't want my roots to come out like a really bright light yellowy blonde and then the rest still be like kind of dark and red and whatever. Something that you can do that I do recommend is just massaging the hair and just work that product into the hair and just you know keep an eye on it and see if it's starting to change color. So in total it ended up being on those red parts for about 45 minutes. So as you can see this is what my hair looked like after using the high lift color. It definitely did make a pretty significant difference. My hair as a whole was just a lot lighter looking and also the parts that were red were now pink like they didn't look red to me really at all anymore it was just like a, an orangey pink so once again I completely saturated my hair with coconut oil left it overnight so that it could kind of rehydrate a little bit then the following day I moved on to step number three I wanted to lighten my hair all over even more and get those pink parts completely out of my hair. So what I decided to do was do a bleach wash, bleach bath, whatever you want to call it. All you do for that is take powder lightener, developer, and shampoo and mix those together. So I used one part lightener, one part developer, one part shampoo. So I just took that mixture and I just applied it all over my head and with that you want to just keep massaging it into your hair and just stay in front of a mirror the whole time and just keep an eye on it and keep watching it. As soon as you see that that color looks like it's pretty much all gone then just rinse it out. It's not as strong and damaging as just straight up bleach on its own but there's still bleach in there so you just really want to be careful and not leave it on much longer than you need to. I think I want to say I left that on for about 30 minutes. At that point I want to say 90% of the red in my hair was gone. My ends from about like my mouth down were just white. The top of my hair was kind of a yellowy blonde and then my mid shaft had some parts of like white blonde, some parts of a very light peachy kind of color. My hair at that point felt so damaged. My ends were already kind of damaged to begin with so at this point my ends were just really really bad and I was really nervous to do anything else to it at that point. I knew obviously my hair was not you know, the final product that I wanted, but I was really scared to do anything else to it because I just didn't think that my hair would be able to handle so it. at this point, I decided to go to a salon because I knew that in order to get my hair this blonde that I wanted, I still needed to lighten it a little bit more. So I decided to go to a salon so that I could get an Olaplex treatment. If you've never heard of Olaplex before, it is an amazing, sort of newish product. You can either just do it as a treatment on its own, or you can actually mix it in with your bleach and color mixtures, and it will restore damaged hair and also protect your hair when you're bleaching it or doing anything damaging like that to it. So it's an awesome, awesome product, and I knew that I really wanted to use that on my hair because I did not feel that my hair would be able to handle anything else just on its own. So what she did first was she cut, I want to say, almost two full inches off the ends of my hair. So she used a level 7 hair color with, I'm assuming, a 10 volume developer on my roots, and she just kind of, you know, painted that on freestyle just really naturally. Then after that she took bleach and she mixed that with Olaplex. I'm not 100% sure what volume developer she used with the mixture. Olaplex dilutes developer a little bit. So say you use a 30 volume developer, mix Olaplex in, it dilutes it to a 20. So I'm assuming that she used either a 30 or 40 volume, but I'm not entirely sure. So then she applied that all over my hair from, you know, right where it's light down to the ends and then there were a few parts that still held on to the pink a little bit so she just took a toner and she literally just put that on there for like two minutes 
and then wash it out and that's the color that I have now. So if at any point you feel like, okay, my hair is feeling really damaged, it's feeling really spongy, then just either leave it alone and just deep condition it for a few days in a row or I suggest going to a salon and look for a salon in your area maybe that carries Olaplex because that stuff seriously like helped my hair out a lot. I'll put Olaplex's website actually in the description so you can go and read about it and you also can find like you can do a search on there to see what salons near you carry it. But even if you do end up going to a salon, if you do at least like the first two steps at home on your own, I think you'll save money at least once you're at the salon because at that point at least you removed most of the red so they don't have to do like as much and use as many products on you. That's my tutorial, that's how I went from red hair to blonde hair. Like I said in the beginning, you might have to tweak a few things but I just wanted to share exactly what I did and what my hair looks like between each process so that you can use that information and figure out for yourself what will work for your hair. I will try to provide as much information down in the description of the video as I can so if you have any further questions please read that first. So if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me. Also subscribe if you're not already I have tons of different hair tutorials on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So this was me earlier in the week doing deadlifts. I was doing 145 for 8 I think. And then here is just a quick clip of me doing